But what I do want you to understand, just like I said before, people are getting to the spot and to the place to where they're deciding to do things the way that they haven't done them previously because everybody wants to drive more listenership. Everybody wants more people to see their podcast because it drives authority. And by it driving authority, then it makes you the expert in your field. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the... What's going on, family? What's going on, family? It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And we're, we, we, we've, been, we've been lagging a little bit on the news, all right? I'll be honest. We've been lagging a little bit on uh, bringing the podcast news. Um, but here on Your Podcast Mentor Show, what we talk about, we talk, we talk about podcast news, podcast how-tos, and also interviews, right? So today we're just going to go ahead and dive in. Uh, but what I want you all to know and what I want you all to understand is over the next few weeks, maybe over the next few months, I want you to know first and foremost that I value your listenership, right? I value your relationship. Okay, so with that being said, feel free to reach out. Feel free to submit a question to me. You can go to yourpodcastmentorshow.com. And then down at the bottom right-hand corner, we have a little microphone. And right there, you can leave a voicemail. So you can say your name. You can say the name of your podcast, right? Because I'd love to just shout you out. And in addition to that, you can ask your question and have an opportunity to be featured on the show, right? Because one thing that we're going to start doing in the future is we're going to start playing more of what the listeners have to say so that I can answer the listeners' questions. And then ultimately, so we can not only just get your questions answered, but we can then spread awareness of your show and the work that you're doing and who you are. All right. So that's one way that you can connect with us easily. Another way you can connect with us. Also, feel free to shoot a DM to your podcast mentor show on Instagram, right? Your podcast mentor show on Instagram. That's where we put up all our clips. That's where we share our content. So feel free to get connected because like I said, I want you all to be a bigger part of this show. And especially as we get to the point to where we start rolling out not only two episodes a week on Monday and Friday, but then we begin to roll out more episodes like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I want you all to be a big part of that. So now, as we're going to go ahead and transition, now I want to talk a little bit about the podcast news and, and what's been going on. Uh, because one thing that we must, must, must consider in terms of us getting our podcast out to the masses, right? Seeking to grow our podcast, seeking to increase listenership, one thing that we must consider is taking avenues that we haven't been utilizing in the past, right? So some people use TikTok, you know, to do the TikTok videos and do the TikTok content. Other people incorporate reels, right, to get attention and by way of getting attention, hoping that people click the link in our bio, click the link on our profile so that they may get introduced to our podcast in some way, shape or form. However, but I want to give you another way today. And just before I dive into this, I want to just let you all know. Uh, so I recently published a book, okay? It's called Get Paid with Podcasting. And it's a blueprint for speakers, coaches, and consultants showing you exactly, showing you exactly how you can take your voice and then ultimately translate it into products, into services, and be able to monetize that message, all right? So I'm gonna put the link just down below so you can go ahead and put in your order. Uh, you can put in your order to grab your copy. Uh, we got it on Amazon right now, but that's Get Paid With Podcasting. All right, that's the name of the book. And now I'm going to show you exactly what I've been talking about. Another way that we need to begin to consider getting our message out, we need to consider YouTube family. We need to consider YouTube. John, why should we consider YouTube? So, so this was shared uh, from from Pod News right here. This is an article shared from Pod News. And as you see, right, this is Bloomberg and they're breaking down audio versus video, right? Audio podcast. It says Bloomberg has taken audio first approach to podcasts on YouTube. Instead of offering video of host or brawl, they feature an image 
in a waveform graphic. You all know like the audio graphic that goes across the audio waves. As as on, as the only visual of the podcast. And yet through June 2020, they've had over 500,000 views across their shows. 500,000. That's a lot of views, y'all. That's a lot of views. I don't care who you are. That's a lot of views. All right. So so look. So now look what it says. Clips can help drive discovery, right? Bloomberg uses a method of posting short segments from the podcast to enhance discovery and give audiences a tease of the content with the purpose of driving audiences into the full podcast. So what they're saying is you, Bloomberg is saying that they use a clip of audio content with the wa- with the waveform over it, right? So they post this like on the YouTube platform. And then what they do is hope that you will go to seek out and listen to the full podcast on an audio platform like a Apple, like a Spotify, like a iHeart, some of those platforms, right? The next point, it says substance over style for visuals. Audience were more interested in visual accompaniments uh, to their audio experience when it's additive compared to superfluous or distracting wow okay substance over style for visuals audience were more interested in the visual right third point seo and descriptions are key using informative and seo focused titles bloomberg elevates the discovery of their podcast on youtube the world's second largest search platform they're telling us they're telling us what's about to happen and they're letting us know that we need to consider youtube for our podcast all right then it says playlists are a great way to share and organize podcasts bloomberg also uses a variety of podcast playlists right to organize methods to help viewers discover more podcast content and even by sharing podcast content and playlists across various channels and then for the last point it says use youtube's chapter tool to help audiences find specific topics with youtube's new chapter tool channels can help audiences quickly find the content they seek by adding time codes into their descriptions which automatically tags the videos with chapters what are they telling us right here what are they telling us bloomberg is showing us that one the people want to see the video people want to see the visual this may or may not apply for your audience so take this with a grain of salt but what i do want you to understand just like i said before people are getting to the spot into the place to where they're deciding to do things the way that they haven't done them previously because everybody wants to drive more listenership everybody wants more people to see their podcast because it drives authority and by it driving authority, then it makes you the expert in your field. There's one more news piece I wanted to just share with you all. And it's going to be this news piece right here. It's, it's an update about what Spotify is doing. And there's a new spot, Spotify interface that's that was leaked, right? It hasn't happened just yet. But I want to go ahead and share my screen and just show you all uh, because I saw podcast news share this. So I'm going to give you our inside look as well. Check it out of a modular self-assembly and not against all violence but against the worst form of violence which is to just being wiped off i found that possible too but it's tricky there's a book but yeah cuddle and not against all now we built so for so for those of you all who are just enjoying the audio experience and you all didn't click over and you know you're not watching or streaming on youtube i want to just let you know what we saw so what we saw is now they have the cover art front and center but behind the cover art, they have the audio waves that just Bloomberg was talking about the way that they have created content for their own podcast to go on YouTube. So now what, what are the takeaways from this episode, John? What do you want us to take away from this episode? What do you want us to get? First and foremost, if you're out there, you're a speaker, you're a coach, you're a consultant. I want to just give you this quick, this quick invite. All right. I want to invite you to an upcoming training that I have. And it's geared towards my speakers and my coaches, my consultants as well. And I want to show you how to ultimately take your voice and expand your reach as well as your revenue. I'm going to break all this down in the training, even if you don't have a lot of followers. All right. So you can go to getpaidwithpodcasting.com. I'm going to have the link just below in the show notes. 
and I'll see you in the training. Now back to the episode. The points that I want you to take away from today's episode is number one, however you've been marketing your podcast, if it's been Twitter, if it's been Facebook, if it's been LinkedIn, wherever you've been marketing your, marketing your podcast and however you've been marketing it, I want to challenge you today to step outside the box. I want to challenge you today to do something different. If you've been marketing it on Instagram, maybe try marketing on Twitter. If you've been doing Instagram posts, like just in the feed or Instagram stories, let's try maybe looking at seeing how we can do Instagram reels, right? Let's see how we can incorporate reels into our strategy. Let's see how that works. If we've been doing reels, let's maybe test out lives and let's see how that'll work for us. So that's the first thing. See about marketing your show in a way that you haven't marketed before. The second takeaway I want to give you today is SEO and show notes. Okay, SEO and show notes. What does that mean? SEO stands for search engine optimization. And I want to just encourage you around SEO. You might not completely understand it. But I want you to begin, begin to think about like what are five or 10 words that you know are synonymous with your brand, right? For me, it would be podcasting. It would be how to start a podcast, how to grow a podcast, how to monetize a podcast and podcast news. These would be things that I want to be synonymous with the brand and with my show. So therefore, I'm going to put some of that information down in the show notes, right? I'm going to put a little blurb about the episode, maybe three to five sentences, right? Then I'm going to go down and I want to encourage you all, if you're not uh, subscribed to the channel, subscribe to my channel. And I want you to go down and look and see how I do the show notes because I have the timestamps or the chapters as YouTube calls them. But then after I do those, then down at the bottom, you're going to see another blurb of information that's going to talk a little bit about me. It's going to talk a little bit about my show so that over time, with Google being the number two search engine in the world, it's going to end up driving more people to me and to my podcast based on the words that I have down in the search. Okay, so I said, try something new. I said, uh, focusing on SEO, which is search engine optimization, looking at words and looking at phrases of things to drive more traffic potentially to our show utilizing you know th those things that we may have not done before and then lastly i want you to just take the time and see who are some people who are in your industry who are reachable who you know would be able to add value to your show, but then also you can have a conversation about a relevant topic. I want you to reach out to two of those people and then begin to get them on your show and then get them to share your show and then you share their show, right? So it, it, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. Family, I just wanted to drop by today and give you that quick message. Like I said, we've been slacking on the podcast news, but we're going to get back on it. And if you follow our, our YouTube channel, you know, if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, I'm going to get back to doing my shorts, which I was doing daily starting out this year. So family, until next time, this is your source for podcast news, podcast how-tos, and interviews. All right. So until next time, this is your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones, reminding you that we're here to help you establish your platform so that you can profit on purpose from your podcast. All right. Till next time, peace and God bless.